so let's see here. If we can get so you can have a couple of options when you come up to load your bridge if you want. You can you can place your bridge across these supports. If you would prefer, you can put them down in the grooves here and we can adjust the side to side and spacing a little bit. If your bridge isn't quite balanced when you come up, we'll try to help you adjust it so that it's it's reasonably level. Now which one of these is the uh, loin block? You can pick either of those two pieces of wood to put on top of your bridge before we start loading weights on. And then if we can get somebody up here to hand him weights. So one of the decisions you're going to have to make as you start loading your bridge is whether you want to start with big weights or little weights. If you start with little weights, you may have to switch them out for big weights later on. Andy is going to start with some of the 10 pound weights. Make sure it's centered. So one safety note, if you're up here loading your bridge and you hear it start to crack, jump away. Yep. And where the fives? Um, we have that. We have fives. So we'll keep loading your bridge. Until you hear a loud boom. Mm -hmm. okay. Each of these are 10 pounds, right? Yep. yep. Wow. So I think he's up to 80 pounds on his bridge so far. Bridge mass is 74 grams. So the way that we're going to judge your bridges tonight is not just how much is your bridge hold, it's how much is your bridge hold divided by the weight of the bridge. So lighter bridges will do better than heavier bridges. I'm getting scared this thing fails. <laughs> That's getting heavy. So we're up to somewhere north of 100 pounds. <laughs> Let's keep going tens. I honestly did not expect it to this much. Two hundred. Twenty. Center it. Center it. 